Alright, what's up guys? This is Spooky, and welcome back to Let's Play The Guardian Legend. Anyway, in the previous part, we made it into Area 3, where we uh, promptly got blown the fuck up by one of the mini bosses. This time around, we're gonna check the area and see if we can get uh, some power-ups to help us out. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head to Corridor 13, which originally I had skipped past. Anyway, here it is, and here we are on the map. You can see that uh, Corridor 3 and 13 are right next to each other, but we don't really have a way to open uh, Corridor number 3 just yet. Anyway, for now, let's jump on in 13. Anyway, Area 3, all the enemies start doing a lot more damage to you both here in the corridors and outside in the overworld. So knowing that I'm going to be much more careful about my approach to the stage. These guys we actually can kill now. I'm going to use this weapon. Do you still have a ton of health? Anyway, if we do manage to beat this stage, we will get an item that is going to uh, really help us through the entire rest of the game, not just this corridor. So hopefully we can clear it out. Look at that, tons of crap just coming at me. Thankfully I've been avoiding most of the hits. You see even these little asteroids or whatever they're supposed to be. Do okay damage to us now. the boss. So with this guy, uh, there's a cool trick to it and I'll try and show it to you. Normally when he shows up, he appears like this, right? But he also shoots out a ton of missiles. If you uh, set yourself with the V Saber or the regular Saber in just the right spot, you can take him and all the missiles out at once. Makes it really easy. You also get a ton of power-ups. So all we gotta do is keep doing this and we'll get him. There we go. Nice. So another optional corridor complete. But how in the world are we gonna beat that crazy green plant mini boss thing? Ah, that's nice. So this is a defense up. And as you can see, now we have a 2 power and 2 defense. And that's very important because we take much less damage from enemies, including one specific one you could probably think of that we're going to head straight to now. I'm going to show you another little trick for this guy that I've learned. I've seen a lot of other people use this OG style trick. If you stand here where the uh, partitions come down at you, It'll be uh, much easier to guesstimate where the boss is going to go to attack you. And yes, you will take some damage, but thanks to the... Uh, oh wow, we get another one. That's really nice. Uh, so our defense jumped uh, pretty significantly just from... Quarter 13 and the mini boss. Ah, and we get another red lander. So look at that, we got some pretty big upgrades. Nice work, fellas. And now the main thing, of course, is that we've got to head over to uh, 
figure out how in the world we're gonna get into corridor number three. Let's see what's below. I think there's a safe spot here. Yes, there is. There it is. I'm just gonna jump in here just in case I happen to lose. At least I won't be far off. So through here, uh, I'm gonna go to the left first. Just try to clear the whole area out. Man, those two defense boosts make a huge difference. That enemy did almost no damage. By the way, those uh, those track icons, uh, as you may have seen in the comments of the first video, I've learned that actually they're supposed to be a rapid fire upgrade for your shots. Anyway, wait, wait forever. The seal for number three is gonna be removed. <laughs> I respect the troll there. Alright. Well, so now we know how to open up seal 3. But let's see if there's any other items floating around that we can pick up. Ah, here's a mini boss. Let's see what we get. Ah, this guy, we're just gonna get him with the saber. He's another type of guy that spawns all this stuff afterwards still pretty easy. There we go, he's dead. So what do we get? Ah, we get enemy erasers. And these are items that I've talked about uh, previously. But as you can see, we get 20. And it doesn't use chips or anything like that. You just have 20, that's how it works. And every time you use an enemy eraser, it kills all enemies on screen. It doesn't really do much to bosses or anything. Uh, there is what I would call an exploit. It's not exactly a glitch with this item that you probably will see me use at some point. Uh, but I'll talk about that when the time comes. Alright, we've done most of what we wanted to do here, so it is time to head to Corridor 3. Let's see if I missed out on anything. I don't think so. Yep. Nothing left. Okay. So the save's... Uh, the save point was just to the left of us, if you remember. This is where we got the Red Lander. This is where we fought that mini boss for the shield. I'm gonna go on up, and I'm gonna head to Corridor 3. And getting those uh, defense upgrades probably are gonna make the biggest difference for us. See how enemies were so much tougher without them. Three. All we do is wait. La la la. It's like cross teching. Open up, you piece of shit. Finally. All right. So this is um a quarter that we need to do to complete the game. And we do get a key for beating this one. Don't know what the other item is we'll get. But this one is another forested type of area. Some familiar enemies from Corridor 13. We'll see a couple of new ones though, I think. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's like a, a mushroom or whatever. It's creepy. There's another mushroom. Oh my god, I'm getting bodied. All the corridors are generally pretty fun, especially when you have the right power-ups. It's really just about taking down all these enemies and fighting your way to the boss. Progressively, they get more difficult. Even these corridors are a little tougher than the sea ones that we were at earlier with all the fish and stuff. But uh, they get significantly harder than this afterwards. We will have some better weapons though, so 
will also grow. Oh, more enemy racers, that's nice. Definitely those are gonna be useful. Especially later in the game. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. I think we're almost up to the boss. Yes, we are. Oh, this guy. Alright, so same deal here. We're gonna use the uh, the fireball power. This one has way more health than the previous one, though. This is gonna be a uh, long, drawn out. Oh my god, it still does so much health. Look at that. So I can take uh, two more hits. Thankfully, when you get to zero life, uh, there's sort of a, uh, a protection, if you will, that kicks in. But uh, if you're at zero and you get hit, you will die. Yep. Oof. Oh my god, I'm out of health. Uh... Oh, I should have thrown that earlier. Alright, we gotta time this better. That's the trick. We also gotta not get hit. Oh my god, if I win this, I'll be amazed. Yes! Oh my goodness. Nice work, guys. Holy shit. Oh. We got the the bacon key. Holy, is press button to receive bacon. <laughs> Well deserved for that fight. Alright, so what do we win, John? Ah, uh, we got some health back. Sure, we could use some health. That was kind of a blow. There you go. So corridor three complete, and there's uh nothing left to do in this area, but you can see that to the uh to the northeast a new area has opened up. So let's let's head over there and see what that's about. Back to area zero. Area three completed. Not too much trouble. Although we did have uh, that one death. And we almost died to the freaking eyeball boss. That sucked. Thankfully. We lucked out there. Alright. So back in area zero. All these things are catchy. Uh, a little bit further to the east. at the save point. So, um, this is going to be the end for this part of uh, Let's Play The Guardian Legend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We cleared all of Area 3 and we're going to be heading to Area 4 next. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we find some bacon. See you guys next time. Peace.